Well, welcome to this month's vlog. As you can see, we're in the car, we're all loaded up, and I'm excited to say that I'm waiting for the ferry to go over to the mainland to go filming with Richworth. Uh, I'm sure you'll have seen if you watched my last video that I've got um, a weekend on the mainland filming. And um, so I'm going to make my own video of this session, but also we're going to be making a, an official Richworth video, which should be coming out in the next few weeks. So keep an eye on the Richworth channel for that. Um, and we're going to a lake in the New Forest, which apparently is quite prolific um, on its day. You know, you can't always guarantee fish, but we'll see. You never know. Um, yeah, so like I said, we're waiting for the ferry. We've got about a 45-minute crossing over to Limington and then a short drive to the New Forest from there. And we'll get to the lake. And apparently we get a boat and we get picked up and taken over to the island and all our gear dumped and we get left there for a couple of days um, with no one disturbing us, which is really nice. I'm used to all this day ticket fishing with people walking around all the time, so it'd be nice to have a bit of quiet time. <laughs> um, yeah, so... That's what we're doing on this session. Um, last month, if you watched my video, there was a few fish that I showed you. I did actually manage to get out for another cheeky 24 hour session um, at the end of the month. And I didn't do a lot of filming because I just wanted a bit of a chill out session. So I did 24 hours and uh, didn't film any of it. But I did manage to catch three lovely 20 pounders um, from the day ticket lake that you've seen in previous videos. So. Without further ado, I'll show you pictures of those fish and um, we're going to get on the ferry and hopefully we can bag some chunks. sure what to say um, I've just been dropped off by speedboat um, and I'm on an island um, yeah uh, I'll show you here we go so we've got a wooden platform here I've just dumped all my gear down I'll take you on a little walk um, before I set up I might as well show you around so it's got some slightly dodgy steps to go up here and then uh, yeah, so it's all trees, nice little barbecue pit down here. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, pretty nice, pretty secluded. Um, here's the uh, three man bivy. <laughs> okay, and look, we can walk through here. We've got a nice, nice view of the lake down this way. Um, off this other platform down here. Um, I guess I'll walk down there and show you. Bear with me. This platform's a little bit dodgy. <laughs> kind of moving. But yeah, here we are. That looks pretty nice to me. <laughs> I'm used to uh, fishing two acre lakes on the Isle of Wight and I've got all this open water expanse in front of me, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I think Jay and Steve uh, sort of arriving in the next hour or so. Um, so I'll probably wait for them to arrive before I set up because it's not fair to, you know, get the uh, best dibs on where to fish, etc. But we're all going to fish off that first platform where, where my gear was anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter, but yeah, I thought I'd wait for them. It's a nice thing to do, isn't it? But there we are, that's the island. And uh, yeah, I come from the Isle of Wight to this island. I uh, don't know why I don't like being on the mainland. Um, weird, just seem to be on islands all the time. But um, 
yeah, that's just me, I suppose. Um, no, just being an idiot there. Uh, yeah, so here we are. Um, yeah, like I said, the other guys will be here in an hour or so. I might just get the, the leading rod out, have a flick around. Uh, apparently there's a gravel bar out somewhere in front. Uh, this is this is the platform down here. So yeah, somewhere out in this open water here, a bit of a gravel bar, so I might try and find that and clip up to it. So this has got a bit of a head start, hey guys. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll, uh, I'll wait for the other guys, I'll get set up and hopefully Next time I speak to you, I'll be holding a fish. Uh, right, I haven't started fishing yet, guys. Uh, just thought I'd update you. Uh, the other boys are just on the way over on the boat. Um, I've not actually met them before, so quite looking forward to meeting them. But um, yeah, just thought I'd let you know that uh, things are moving on. <laughs> Feels like forever I've been waiting, but uh, it's actually only been about 20 minutes. I'm just impatient, I guess. Can't wait to get fishing. But yeah, see that orange thing? That, that's them arriving. So uh, yeah, I best uh, get ready to say hello. <laughs> well, uh, I've only been fishing 20 minutes or so. Got the rods out not long after Steve and Jay turned up. And I've had this one, only a mid-double, but I think you'll agree it's absolutely stunning looking. Um, and it fell to a white neck to pop up, fished over the S-core, which is my normal tactics, um, just on the wizard pool rig again. But yeah, lovely to have caught one from a new rod. Oh, and someone else has just uh, had a take. I don't know if you can hear the spool going. Uh, so I better get this one back and get a rod in the water. Hi guys, so I've not had an awful lot of time to film on this session. We've just been quite busy doing the filming with Richworth and um, you know just catching fish so I've not filmed an awful lot but what I thought I might do now is um, show you a few of the fish that I have caught um, just so you can sort of see there's some beautiful scaly ones and uh, a couple of nicer sort of upper doubles nothing huge for me but Jay and Steve have both, both managed 20 pounders the jammy buggers uh, but yeah I'll um, I'll show you that footage now and I'll, I'll probably speak to you in the morning Right guys, the, uh, the rod's only been back in the water for about 10 or so minutes. Um, decided to try a different hook bait this time just because, uh, well, I've got a few different things with me, so I thought I'd give the 2T pop-ups a go. And uh, this one's ripped off, so uh, I think it was 16 pound, bang on. Lovely looking fish, nice and dark. Hopefully there's many more to come. Right, day two, we didn't actually fish last night because uh, it was quite prolific yesterday and uh, we wanted to get some sleep and everything, have a bit of a social. So we wound the rods in. Um, but yeah, I've come back to the pontoon this morning and uh, there was a few fish just milling around. So I put um, an Escort bottom bait with, with half a pop-up on top, my normal sort of half snowman rig, and a few Escort around it. And it, yeah, it didn't take long and I've had this one. I think it was uh, sort of six, 16 pound 12, something like that. So yeah, lovely old fish. Uh, it's got a few battle scars, a bit of a warrior and uh, an absolute pleasure to catch. Well, here we go. Not long after the last fish I showed you, got the rod back out on the spot and a few more Escort over the top. And this one's ripped off. Um, he absolutely steamed off took loads of line and tried to make it to some snags but I managed to steer, steer him away with some steady pressure and um, yeah we've managed to land him so I think it's about 15 pounds something like that so not huge there's definitely bigger fish in here but um, it's nice to be catching you know a few fish and uh, it's still quite early in the session so plenty of time for a bigger one yet. Well, it's nearly lunchtime. Uh, we're just about to start the Richworth match. Um, so I'll have to sort of stop 
stop fishing where I've been fishing and we're all going to fish out on the spot and put three baits against each other. Um, Steve's going to be using Esterberry, I'm going to be using Escor, and Jay's going to be using the Tootie. So we're all going to fish a sort of similar line and see which bait is the most productive. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to that. But I thought I'd have this one just before we start that match. My spot that I've been baiting since I got here seems to really come alive this morning. Um, I can't remember, I think I've had about seven fish off it this morning. Uh, they've all been a similar size, sort of mid-doubles. I think the biggest was about 17 pounds, something like that. Um, I haven't filmed everything for you, because it's, it, you know, it'd just be too much to, to show you, too much to do, so. But yeah, I thought I'd show you this one, nice and dark. Looks really old, um, quite spawned out, unfortunately, so it's quite skinny at the back, but still a lovely fish to catch, and uh, it's nice to have that spot absolutely rocking now. guys um, I just thought I'd let you know how I've been catching my fish on this session um, as usual and no surprises I'm using Escor from Richworth uh, it's a bait that I've been using for about five years now since it came out and it's always done really well for me so I don't see the point in changing and actually uh, today I've managed to win the match with it uh, over the other two baits that we were testing although the other guys had a lot of fish as well so um, don't necessarily think it was a bait, it was probably this. I, I managed to catch the first fish that so got me ahead early on. Um, but yeah, we've all had a load of fish today, which has been amazing, and I'm absolutely knackered, as I'm sure you can probably tell. Um, but yeah, so I've just been fishing my normal uh, Withy Pool rig with an S Core pop up and uh, scattering about 30 or 40 baits around it, and um, managed to find a nice clear area on the near side of the gravel bar, sort of dragged over the gravel until it went smooth and sort of skidded and figured that was a nice hard area and uh, not as blatant as fishing on right on the gravel so yeah that seems to have been working for me and um, I'm just going to carry on doing the same thing so so yeah that's that's my tactics on this session. coming to the end of the second day here and to be fair we've had quite a lot of fish but I seem to be mostly getting the smaller ones uh, and I saw this fish cruising around the margin and I was um, flicking a few boilies out to it and it was taking them on the drop so I cut my rig off and literally had a, a hook on the end of the line and I side hooked a boilie and let it drop through the water and um, the fish took it on the drop and on the drop and actually struck into it and hooked it in the top lip. I'm made up with that one, it's absolutely beautiful. So if I don't catch another one on this trip I'll be uh, still going home a happy man I think. So we're coming into the evening now of the second day and I have to apologise for the lack of filming on this session. I've not really been doing an awful lot. Um, it's surprised me how prolific this session has been. And uh, as you've seen, we've had quite a few fish, so the filming and sort of blogging to camera hasn't been that consistent like I normally try and do throughout the session because I've not really wanted to um, wind in because, you know, it's been, it's been so prolific. I've just been enjoying catching fish and uh, I've actually managed to get a couple of fish going in the margins and there's quite clear water here so you can, you can see them and sort of pick out the better fish. And, um, Jay and Steve have both managed a 20 pounder now and they're beautiful scaly ones as well. Um, unfortunately my biggest is only about 17 pound but you know I'm more than happy with that and I've had really good numbers of fish. I've actually lost count but um, 
I say, we're, as I said, we're coming into the evening now. Jay's just lit a barbecue. I'm well excited about that. We've got some burgers and sausages and things. And we're going to have a bit of a, a chill out and um, a bit of a social this evening. Um, so I'm probably not going to fish, although I may chuck a rod out long for a catfish. Um, because Jay said there's a deep hole in the middle there where the catfish hang out and he actually had one last night just fishing a PVA bag of pellets and um, I think it was a KG1 uh, bottom bait on the rig and, and that was it. Um, yeah, quite a lot of pellets though, like a big big PVA bag um, launched out into the deeper water. So I might try that tonight because I'd like to have a catfish. Apparently they go up to £64 in here and my PB is only about £13. So. Yeah, it'd be awesome to beat that. And Jay's one last night was £24. Um, so even one that size would be great. They put up a good fight and everything. So so yeah, if I if I manage to catch a catfish or I catch any more carp, I'll show you those. But um, if not, I'm going to have a chill out this evening and not do any more filming. And um, I'll, I'll update you in the morning and let you know how things are going. And uh, yeah, just before we leave, I'll speak to you. Right, guys, I think I said on my last uh, little bit of talking to the camera that um, I was going to stop fishing and uh, maybe just chuck a rod out long for carp but I had a look in the edge and I saw um, a lovely scaly fish that looked a little bit bigger than uh, a lot of the fish that we've been catching so um, I actually free lined a boilie to it crazy um, and it, it sucked it in and uh, screamed off so yeah I've actually got it in the net uh, down here <laughs> So yeah, uh, it looks it looks a nice 20 pounder and it's lovely and scaly. So I'll get that out for you and uh, we'll have a look at it in a minute. Well, here she is. Fish known as Helen, 23 pound, 10 ounces. Uh, caught on my normal Escort pop-up. Absolutely buzzing with this one. It's like a dinosaur, proper old and scaly and nice and dark as well, just how I like them. I'll, uh, I'll turn it around and show you the other side because it's nice, uh, nice looking fish. There we go. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely made up. This is the biggest fish for me of this trip. And, uh, and the nicest looking as well. So can't grumble at that, can you? <laughs> There you go guys, Jay and Steve are still asleep, I've snuck down to the pontoon and uh, got a rod out this morning, I found a few fish fizzing up and uh, I've had this absolute scaly cracker on the S-Core again, uh, he's a bit lively but yeah, not the biggest fish in the world but absolutely stunning I'm sure you'll agree. Well, good morning, um, it's the last, last morning of the trip now and uh, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful this morning, as I think you'll agree. Um, as I said last night, I did put a rod out for a catfish, um, quite quite far out, sort of into the middle of the lake, where apparently there's a bit of a deeper hole, and um, where Jay had a cat the night before uh, with a 20 mil kg1 bottom bait and a bag of pellets and a few kg1 in there, and. Um, I didn't get a cat unfortunately, but I did manage a calf on that one, um, but it was only sort of uh, very, very low doubles. Um, I tried to film it, but the light wasn't very good and the camera sort of struggled to focus. So I probably won't show you that to be honest, it wasn't, it wasn't a very big fish, so it wasn't really worth it. But no, it was nice to have one from a different spot, we've, we've mostly been fishing quite close in. Um, and the fish have been sort of around us, this pontoon and stuff, and they seem to come here because I guess they, they used to, you know, people chucking bait in when they leave and stuff like that. So the fish are kind of around the pontoon and, and fairly close in. It's nice to actually cast out and have one in the open water just for a change. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think really today um, it's going to be just about Getting, getting tidied up and packed away. Um, maybe the last few bits of filming done for Richworth. So might not even fish 
to be honest with you. But I might, I might, you know, if I get everything done that I need to, I might get the rod out and and have a fish just before I go. But yeah, I've, I've definitely had plenty on this trip. It's been absolutely amazing, and uh, that 23 pounder that I had is stunning. I think I'll be a fish I remember for a long time. There's a fish called Helen. I think one time. Um, it was £33 that fish but um, I think it's got quite old now and, and as a lot of fish do they tend to lose a bit of weight when they get older you know they sort of uh, don't feed as, as aggressively and they have spawned on here a month or so ago so obviously they've lost a bit of weight through spawning um, but I think in general uh, the fish are quite old so they're, they're not as heavy as they once were um, but yeah, at one time that, that fish was the biggest fish in the lake, so it's nice to catch that one. Um, and that, it was absolutely stunning, you know. It doesn't really matter about the weight to me. It, it looks so nice and very old, at least 30 years old, that fish. So, so really pleased to have got that one. So yeah, I'm going to start slowly putting some bits away and tidying up. Um, and we'll have, to, we'll have to call Ben, who's the owner's son, to come and pick us up. On the on the speedboat, <laughs> so I get another another trip on a boat today, and then uh, yet again another trip on a boat when I go back over to the Isle of Wight. So yeah, quite a fun day. <laughs> so yeah, if I if I do have another carp, I'll I'll show you that before we go. Um, but if not, that'll be the end of the trip. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Sorry, it's not been my uh, absolute best filming. I've just been quite busy and catching lots of fish so not had a lot of time um, next month uh, I've got I've got a new ticket for a club water near to where I live so I'm gonna probably start fishing on there so so the next video should be um, on my new water so that'll be exciting have a bit of a change from the day ticket lake for a while the fish in there are a little bit down in weight due to spawning again so my target fish probably won't be 30 pounder as it normally is so I'd quite like to give it a rest until it's put a bit of weight back on and, and catch it at, you know a, a good weight sort of thing so so maybe I'll um, I'll fish on the club lake for the summer and then get back uh, on the day ticket uh, in the autumn so yeah thanks very much for watching guys remember to subscribe and uh, click the bell notification icon so you never miss another video and uh yeah, keep an eye out for the next video and um, have a look on my channel. There's a few videos so far this year. Uh, five rig tips is a good one. Um, I had quite a lot of messages about that, um, so they enjoyed that video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. It's not even like flapping properly, it's just bending like that. <clears throat> right, day two. Um, we, oh dear. He's just gonna flip, hang on. Caught him. <laughs> well, we're. Uh, oh. Well, here it is. Well chuffed with this one. 23 pound. I'll start that again. <laughs> Come on. Helen. Oh, she's just shit out everything. Oh my god. That is that is rough. <laughs> I love looking at her bit of shit. What's it's all different. It's like red and <coughs> it's estuary and tooty, isn't it? Yeah, it's got the best break down there now. Well, there you go. Well, there you go, guys. Here we go, is there.
Well, there you go. The, uh, Well, there you go, guys.